few people have been asking to see how the browser and text input works on the Zoom HD. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that here. Uh, Mobile.microsoft.com. That is, this is the default page, default home page they have there. You can change that if you want. Um, but this works in either portrait or landscape mode. You can see the accelerometer is quite quick. Uh, we'll, we'll use landscape mode for now. Um, text input um, actually works pretty good. Um, one of the things that m makes it work well um, is how they lock you to lock, they lock your finger to a particular row. So it's harder to mistype. Let me see that on camera. It's harder to mistype something if you can only press one row. So let me show you a little bit here. Let's try so then do a search on of course it's Bing. So I missed the row there. I'm trying to type behind the camera at the same time. And anything but iPod just happens to be the first one there. Now I've seen some render issues, particularly with anything but iPod.com, but everything else seems to render okay. Uh, it's just the code on this site, I guess. Um, so this supports the full multi-touch zoom. So you can jump right in here. Let's see. Works. It's actually a very usable browser. Um, of course, Flash, um, Flash and Silverlight not yet supported. I'm not sure if and when that's going to happen, but. And for instance, here is if you add to your favorites, so that adds it there. Um, now, Twitter applications, Facebook applications, they're coming soon, but you, for now, if you wanted to, you can use their mobile website and actually just post straight from the, their mobile website. Same thing with Facebook. And that about wraps it up for the browser.